make a lies it a warrior a road Warrior a road I mean no see no barrier be hold them down The most I the carrier allows Now make them chat the valley alone Run the valley therapy present it but it to the fullest It's always love, children are 65 days of the year Ah, we wish some empire says salute, you know? Breathing? Breathing is great, nice to see, nice to meet you finally Before I went on the stage, I was so nervous. I was like, yo, I don't know if I can do this. I look into the crowd, too much people. I was like, yo, I need to stop. But then, like, two minutes on the stage, I could feel it, you know? I could feel, I remember the purpose. I remember the intent. I remember the message. I remember why we do it. I love it. Everything was amazing. The whole experience is amazing. Okay, uh, you're coming for, from a long way, you know? I think it's the last one. I was supposed to do a show in um in Austria, but the festival got cancelled. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I think this is the last one. We also have some more bookings in London, Max Romeo in September, and we're gonna go do a show in Switzerland. So there's some more shows coming up. This one is a, you know, I was really looking forward to this one. You know, Rata Town, Tour's mainstay. Some of the highlights from the tour? Highlights, meeting, meeting or, or watching Sisa perform for the first time. Sizzler, meeting Janine, meeting Frida, um, going to California for the first time, played to Canada for the first time, being here at Rutland Town for the first time on the main stage, main stage for the first time. After this, seeing Barry Simon perform for the first time, everything, you know, so many first time experiences that I really appreciate, you know. Okay, okay, so as the Lucian Revolution, yeah, you know, um, reggae is about that, you know, like yeah, the fight. Rising for the rising, for the struggle of people, people. Yeah, yeah. So how do you keep the revolution alive? <laughs> I keep myself alive. That's why I said the revolution. You know, I think it's really and truly about the evolution of self. It's really and truly about the betterment of self. Better me makes a better we. And I can only, that can only happen if I make myself better. I can only expect better from anyone if I make myself better. I can only move if I make myself stronger. I shouldn't wake up wanting to be carried by anyone. I should wake up knowing that I have to do for myself. I will only go. Every yes and every no brought me here. Every yes and every no that I've said in my life brought me here. That means I am responsible for my steps. I am responsible for my life. Our evolution, evolution of self, stronger people, better people. That's how you keep the revolution alive, you know? When you, when you started, you started as a DJ and then yeah, some hip-hop. Yeah. Can you share some of the hip-hop vibes from back then? Yeah man, I used to um, I used to DJ in a club called Fridge Bar in Brixton. With a DJ called 279, used to work on our main stage called Choice FM. A lot of people might know it. So, I, I love hip-hop music. My favorite hip-hop album is Chronic 2001, Dr. Dre. One of my favorite hip-hop artists is Kanye West because he's so honest, also open. It's random. But it's just open. I like honest people. I love Tracy Chapman, she's honest. I love Sam Cook, he's honest. I love Peter Tosh, he's honest. You know? Honest people. I like people who aren't really afraid to defend and express their truth. I learn from them. That's me defending my truth. So big up everybody that I've been listening to over the years. Hip hop, reggae, trance, techno, drum and bass. Uh, go on. Jungle, every genre, every genre. Do you believe in everything happens for a reason? I believe that. Everything. I believe everything is connected. I believe in purpose. I believe in intent. I believe if you believe in you, that's, that, that's enough strength for you. I believe that. I believe that. That's, that's all you need sometimes for you to believe in yourself. And it helps to have somebody to believe in you. That helps, but that's not what you need. You need you to believe in you. That, but do I believe everything happens for a reason? Yes. I believe my father was born in England for a reason. I believe I grew up in Jamaica for a reason, to have my Jamaica experience. I believe I have so many friends all over so they can teach me the conversations, teach me whatever it is I didn't know or learn in school, to be able to teach whatever friend is learn in school in music. I believe that happens for a reason. I believe I'm here for a purpose. I believe I'm happy. Yeah, because 
Goed, ik kan wel gaan. Ja, en ik denk dat we een album samen maken, zoals Gentleman en Team Manager. Goed idee. Ik ga wel gaan. Dat is een goed idee. Dat is een goed idee. Ja, maar hoe is het proces van schrijven voor je? Heb je een hard habit? Je moet gewoon door een bepaalde zone gaan, weet je? Ik geloof in het. Ik schrijf van de Divine. Ik geloof. I've been working on my album for like seven, eight years. The first thing that came to my mind about writing like a, a full package body album. I had to be able to experience to be able to write that. So I needed to live to write. I think I wrote about acquiring an experience and everything else in my EPs and everything. There's so much more that I wanted to see and learn before I put that together and make an album. So I write to make my writing stems from my experiences. The more I experience, the more I write. The more I love, the more I write. The more, I, the more I experience, the more I So the album is coming. So I'm going to the studio. I love producing. I think that's the next thing. That's the therapy for me. That's my healing process. If I wasn't able to write my songs or write how I feel, I think I'd be very miserable. Not many people want to communicate or speak or have conversations about the real things. So I am happy I can say exactly how I feel in front of me. And not have to rely on someone else to kind of listen. People are tired sometimes. Some people don't even have time to listen to your stuff. But they're going through their own thing. So fortunately for me, I'm able to write my song before. And that keeps me alive, you know? I have so that's my process. Experience, right? Experience, right? Okay. On the stage, I think I heard a new song, right? The one with Roger? Yeah, Warrior. Yeah, so, one. I don't know. The album is coming? <laughs> the album is coming. That song was supposed to be on the mixtape. But then we said, no, man. This is personal, this is special. It's a song dedicated to our warriors, warrior lords. The most time they carry up our lords. Won't let me try and party alone. Warrior lords, that's it. We're gonna love it. Okay, so the album, tell me about the album. <laughs> right. Okay, so the well, album. I'm working on features, I'm working on the collaborations, I'm working on the instrumentals, I'm doing a lot of the production on the album. I've been waiting to release that side of my music. Like I've been doing production for years. I have been saying to anyone that produced that listen. Most of my time all I do is production. Every single day. My manager hates me for production. Every day. So this album I even wanted to produce, I want to be more involved in the production. So I expect a lot more of my production to come. My music is called Truth Music, so it's coming out. So, we should be for later this year or next year, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you that. But, I won't be doing another mixtape yet. No another EP yet. Mixed move, and I will.